All the project files that I will break down are available in the link provided below. So welcome back everyone to Fusion Studios and today I have this new super scene to break down. Again, there might be some questions which you might want to ask. So comment section is for you. But before you commenting, watch this whole video so that you understand something about the video. To start it up, first things first. Of course, if whenever you are making something like this, in the previous video itself, you saw that we need to complete it in the 2D itself first. And this is something which will be showcased in a single layer. So we'll be making a simple still frame in 2D itself. What I mean by that is, let me show it to you. Before everything like this, it has to be done like this. And then we can put it to like 3D, you know, by using this image in 3D and then changing the camera, adding depth of field and everything else etc etc and make it look like that it's done in 3d but first we need to complete it in 2d itself okay to get started with i have many underlays over here the benefit of underlay is you can simply go to menu and choose any of the underlay which you want to start with so i don't want to start with any of the underlay i want to start with the video itself so from zero frame if you go over here you can see that in this page nothing is happening even till 60 nothing is happening why is that if I were to show you over here, what's happening is right now from zero, there's this video playing. Okay. And it is being played till frame number 59. And after 59, this foreground enters. And why I'm saying foreground, because in the merge node itself, if you see an inspector, the blend right now is set to zero, but on the 60th, it's set to one, which means that till 59th, everything on the foreground will be zero. Like it will, it won't show up. The opacity will be zero, but on the 60th frame, opacity will be one. And from there, our comp is taking place and making it look cooler. <laughs> okay. So this is the basic, right? Till 59th, this video is being played. And in merge, it's set to this background node or like background input. After that, foreground takes place and this happens. All right. This we can see that it's done in 3D. So we will also be doing some 3D stuff. But before that, before it being 3D, this newspaper paper was 2D. And how did we made that? You know, how it looks so realistic and everything. Let's see that. Okay. So to start with, first of all, if I come over here before 3D and everything, this comp looks something like this. And every effect is done in the 2D itself. Like to showcase to you from 60th in on 60th frame, nothing is here, right? But after that, this text has its right on effect. These text and paper effect, uh, uh, paper stripe has this fast noise masks kind of effect. And this fraud also has this polyline effect. I used the text, simple text, okay. I typed newspaper over here and you might not be able to see this. I can just uncheck this checker underlay so that you can see that clearly. And why I made this gray is because, see, the whole concept is that newspaper has something printed, simple. Printer doesn't print real black, okay. It is somewhat gray. That's what I meant to say. If I hope that you understand my point. So that's why you will see that I don't have anything set to pure black. It's somewhat gray and something is not pure white. It's somewhat yellowish. Okay. I have the simple newspaper. Then what I did was I added another text layer, which is this one. Okay. If I go over here, you can see I write something over here. Again, my font is Bodoni MD, something like that. Size a little bit reduced. If I go to shading panel, my first element is checked. Second is not, third is not, and fourth is not. So how I made this red background is, first I made this text, of course, then I put this background behind it. How? By using this rectangle, and then masking out this background, and boom, putting this text on top. Everything together looks something like this. Same ways, another text. I don't know why I put that over here, uh, even though if I didn't, it will work properly because this text and this text is saying, but yeah, whatever. Then I have this text. Now this is a little bit different because in this text, if I again uncheck this checker and delete, what is happening is I have this new say yes since his name and then this fraud. This text is everything is done in a single note. How with a modifier known as character level styling. How you enable that is right clicking over here and then selecting character level styling. If you will select that, 
you can go to modifier panel now you can first of all the modifier panel is enabled congrats now you can select your text like that in the viewer itself and boom you can see till fraud color is set to red and over here color is gray okay that's how it did then after that i have this text and there is this write on effect happening over here okay so each of these elements have their animation basically let me put this last merge itself this last merge is for the you can say borders for everything okay so how i made that is using different rectangles one over here one over here and last one over here and then putting all of them together into this background input and it looks something like this and if i remove checker and delay so it will be like this after that we'll talk about animation later after that, i added this photo and how i did that was i took that from the video itself i played the video took the frame right click save image and save wherever you want bring that back to fusion put it over here then with brightness contrast made it again black and white change did some changes of course fit transform changed its position then put it onto a you can say a bigger background so that it doesn't cuts off okay and you can do that by going to background in image uncheck this auto resolution and change your width and height that i merged it onto this layer also you can see it has this border how you made that is using this arrow dilate adding it attaching it to this background as a mask then putting this behind it that's it and that's how i made this comp all right still it's not finished but the basics are done this uh, blue polyline effect i used a polygon onto a background colored blue and in this polygon what i did was you can see over here its length is zero till here its length completes itself and you make this polygon okay with your mouse itself there are plenty of videos you can check then what i did was i used a displaced node why is that let me first show you this merge i come a little bit far ahead over to 150th now you can see the paper looks so realistic like not the paper but the text looks so realistic why is that for that first we will need to know how i make the paper so i have this white background all right as it is then i have this media in on top of it which means that this is an image of paper i put it on top of this background and here i reduce the blend mode a little bit that's it also size a little bit then again another paper image which is this one putting it on top of everything behind behind it and the blend is again reduced a little bit then lastly i use this to get that splotchy or splotchy effect splotchy whatever the word is i don't know but that oil splotch uh, splashes and you know basically you can say my basic motive was to add oil but whatever you want to add you can add that now with that okay let me show you without this it looks like a clean paper with this it looks like a crunchy paper which i wanted then again with brightness contrast it uses gain a little bit now i had this paper ready and with all of our elements put together i put everything on top and it looked realistic again i am saying this but yeah why is that is because in the merge itself the apply mode is set to color burn if i were to change it to normal boom the color is not looking realistic at all also i displaced it before putting it onto the background with the paper itself if i just disable both of these node for them okay not this one but this one right the effect is completely gone you can see how you make a texture look real is by displacing it what i mean by displacing it is i'm taking all of this and changing its uh you can say edges or how it is displayed onto the view okay i'm changing that on like on the basis of this this paper and as much as i'll increase the fraction value you can see the more it is being displayed displaced sorry not displayed okay the default value was 0.0079 just a little bit not too much and that does the work now this looks like 
the image is being printed okay so how a newspaper paper is made i don't know but i'm just guessing with threads i guess and because of that you get this rough edges it's not flat like a printer will print it and it will be flat no it's not like that it has those rough in surface basically and because of that you get this these edges onto the text and everything and we are achieving the same with displays then in merge now the displacement has happened but not the color color is not right color is like as it is it's looking digital i want to change that and you can do that by going to merge and changing the supply mode from normal to color burn we are literally burning the color wherever the white is you know more than one you can say somewhat like that i don't know the proper definition of color burn but it's working something like that wherever there is high luminance the color is weakening a bit and wherever there is low luminance the color is darkening a bit and with that you can see everything looks so realistic only with two things posters displays and saying this are color burn okay since we have made our comp now it's time to animate it so to animate uh, these things these elements the newspaper uh, the strip red strip and also you see just scenes for these sticks what i did was i used a fast noise so if i come over here and check check another delay you can see in this text i did this uh, displacing over here too like i made a rectangle first of all and i changed its position something like this then i displaced this rectangle with the fast noise and animated it uh i guess yeah i animated the rectangle itself from 85th frame to 145th frame where it's covering the whole newspaper text so that it looks something like this you know so this masking has been done and same ways i have done the masking of all of these text effects see it looks so cool and this polyline again you know the length effect itself that's how i changed its value that's how i animated everything and now our 2d comp is prepared now we can take our 2d comp and put it into the 3d world by using of course image plane 3d and here we have our image if i let f we'll zoom in and put our pivot point into the middle and it looks great then i used to duplicate 3d node one this one to put duplicate it over here and another one is this one to put it over here then merge all of these together to get these three same slides so that even if uh, you know the eclipse like a camera gets away from our subject it still shows up then with render changing the render type to hardware render obviously so that it's a little bit faster uh, also yeah i did some camera animation so if i were to show it to you till 60th everything will be as it is you know why because our video is showing up till then but from there its translation and rotation values are changing a little bit till 102 and it's going till 170 why i did that was to get that easing effect over here now in the renderer you can see things look really nice over here right after that i added a tilt shift blur too and animated that from 60 the blur strength and angle in focus sweep is increasing and from there till 167th frame which is the last one it's changing its angle and focus sweep values then everything put together looks something like this the video shows up and from there our camera takes into place then lastly you know it doesn't end over here I added some more fixed things which will be let me hit V so that our navigator is gone and I'll put this over here now first thing which I added was our lens distortion and with lens distortion it looked something like this okay that distortion thing is happening then with color corrector I tinted it up bit towards green glow edge detect and you can see all the settings over here right on the inspector prism blur film grain vignette and everything together our final comp looks something like this so well that's everything guys 
I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, then you know what to do. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Press the notification bell if you haven't again. Comment down below if you have any queries and share this as much as possible with your editors, MoGraph artists, or whatever you want to call your good guys. Also, in case if you are wondering about uh, around Fusion and DaVinci Resolve and thinking about how will I learn everything, this is so complex, then you got your brother teaching you all everything from scratch. There will be a mail provided in the description below. Just mail me at that. Just hit me up with that mail. And yeah, we can start your learning journey too. Also, this is again, I can't show you like every scene from that time project, but these are some major ones which I'm showcasing. So my main purpose of this all, everything is that you guys learn a little bit something with each of my video okay you guys grow a little bit that's the whole purpose of this channel boss for me and i think that i am able to provide that to you and also you're understanding fusion better and better day by day video by video all right with that said again if you want to hit me up for some business queries like if you want to work with me again everything will be done with that mail mail is providing into the description below okay so from there you can have a chat or a quick meeting but with that said there will be a link of our discord server join our discord if you haven't till now because there are some amazing people cool people like you sharing their work and making their work better by asking questions to other people all right with that said everything is said and done see you in the next one that will be also an amazing breakdown like this one yeah that's it see you bye bye guys